In this video, we're going to take a look at tags and how they also can be used to organize your content. It's easy to get confused about the difference between categories and tags. And honestly, to a certain extent, you can use them however you want. In this video, we're going to take a look at how I recommend you use them. We're looking at a post here for a classic rock concert in the park. This Tuesday, we'll be showcasing some of the greatest bands of the 60s and 70s. Be there or be square. And you'll note that in categories, it's under events and music. But here we have a box for tags. And we can separate tags with commas and simply type them in. Tags are things that you might want somebody to find when they're searching, but aren't necessarily found anywhere in your title or text. So this post is about classic rock bands. So we might put in Led Zeppelin, comma, Pink Floyd, add. And it adds them like this. And if you made a mistake, you can simply click the X and get rid of it. Oh, but I really want that in there. And so we add. Now you'll note right here below, it's choose from the most used tags. That doesn't actually work right now because we don't have any. But categories do the same thing. Under categories, you can see the most used. Let's put the Beatles in here as well. You'll note there's no construct such as parent and child with tags. They're just there. Now if we click Update and go look at the front of the site, you'll see that it did not put the tags here. If we click on it, you can see them right on the post. And then you can even click on a tag and see all the posts that are in that tag. The URL is slash tag slash Led Zeppelin. Now you may not ever end up with another post, with a tag of Led Zeppelin. This one might be all by itself. However, if somebody comes searching and put in Led Zeppelin, now you may not ever have another post with a tag of Led Zeppelin, but this one is here and Google will find it. And if somebody does a Google search for Wordville Led Zeppelin, they will find this page because you tagged it. Even though the words Led Zeppelin are not in this post at all. Over on the left in the admin area is the tags link. And this works very much like the categories page. There's a bulk actions option. Its only choice is to delete. So you could delete a number of tags that you aren't really using anymore. Over on the right, there's a count that shows you how many posts are in each one. And you can click to see posts only in that tag. You can add new ones here very quickly, just like you could with categories. But on this page, we're not looking at a single post about classic rock. So in here, you could add all sorts of tags. There, now we have one about a playground. Let's go to All Posts and go to New Construction Project. If we come down to Tags, you'll see we don't have any options. We could choose from most common, and it's not there. However, if we type P, L, it searches ahead for us and shows us tags that already exist. So we can simply click Add. And now if I update, this post has the Playground tag. We'll go out to the front of the site, click on Construction, and there is our Playground tag. 